volume of late editions, Perilous States, on the back, there's this wonderful uh, endorsement, otherwise known as blurb by, by Mick Tausig. I want to <laughs> read, not because it mentions me, but because it's, uh, it's so evocative at that time. Yeah. He says, uh, this is on the back of the volume one of this project. Who better than George Marcus Blow to stir the ghost ship of anthropology, the <clears throat> perennially stimulating child of colonialism, into the mists of fantasy act. Now anthropology as cultural critique finds its true medium in a new world order of collapsed socialisms, wild capitalisms, planetary <coughs> warlordism, and radical redefinition of female and male, white and colored, combining the shock of ethnographic method with the nomenology of the guerrilla writer, this new intellectual venture, neither book nor journal, promises to be the format actively equal to this moment in history. <laughs> wow, what, is, what, what has changed? <laughs> and in that very same year, uh, which was 1993, I wrote a blurb for what remains one of Nick's most important and influential books called uh, My Nieces and Alterative. And uh, that's kind of a, what do you call it? Uh, limited reciprocity. I'll, <laughs> I want to read that quote also, because I think uh, ah, mine, not, not as poetic, <laughs> but as foreshading, foreshadowing, if you want, of the kind of issues that I want to discuss. I said that, what is so strategic and crucial about this work is that it redeems mimesis from its association with naive ideas about representation once dominant in the social sciences. In so doing, it creates a strong and very necessary challenge to the alternative idea that all of culture is constructed in discourse, the theoretical workhorse of the cultural studies movement that is now threatening to reach, that's 1993, <laughs> a level of saturation and predictability. Taussig's deeply informed anthropological readings present us with a contemporary cabinet of curiosities that informs the long-standing fascination with the primitive in the constitution of the modern and shocks us in the spirit of Benjamin into reconsidering what we thought we'd all, we had already largely dismissed in our concerns with the politics of representation. Now, those two quotes um, is what I want to launch into the, this uh, discussion of what has become of you want the reference, the meat of the writing uh, culture critique uh, uh, beyond or constrained, within the constraints of contemporary textuality. Taken together, these are forms of inquiry that are perhaps evoked in the two endorsements, alternative forms. In the 90s, alternative forms are evoked within critical writing in anthropology, a lot of which took place in genre writing, still uh, referred to as ethnography. It rested on one aspect or another of this genre authority, yet was gesturing towards something else. These works uh, were still understood in print culture and practices of scholarly communication as experiments with text. Conditions are somewhat different now, and that is what I want to address. Mm -hmm.